Hello, everybody. I think I got the wrong thing. The stream is starting. Yay! It's not ending. It's actually starting. Oh, shot tap. Shot tap. Okay. Anyways, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Lolly's in f top spot. Way to go, Lolly. You are the winner. English learning. Yeah. Nice job. You're in there. Sweet. Uh, all right. Let's get into it. Let's do full screen. Ba boom. Hello, everybody. What's up? How you doing? The crew is back and ready to go. Pilar is back. Welcome back, Pilar. Faiza. Parana is the name from Brazil. Parana. I think the, the stress is on the last syllable. Who else is in here? Carlos is in here, my man. Uh, Mudasser is back. What's up, Gertie? What's up? Uh, who else we got here? Rosa's back. Hello, Rosa. All right, cruising, cruising. Thomas, learn English. Muad, what's up, what's up, what's up? Sir Ken, my man, what's up? Judith is back. Sweet. Uh, Madi, Mobin, Zineb is back. What's up, Zineb? Oh man, crew, crew, hold on. Let me go. I gotta say hello to everybody in this chat. Hopefully, I don't miss anybody. Uh, Ziad, my man. Hello there, sunshine. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Dale, what's up? Uh, Harry's back. What's up, Harry? Maria, hey. Uh, Jose is back. Learn English is there. All right, Maria, what's up? And I'm sure a few more people are coming in here in my coffee time after dinner. Well, I appreciate you hanging out, Gertie. I love hanging out with you. I got an interesting one for you guys today. Uh, a little bit of new stuff, a little bit of fun topics to talk about. And I think we're going to get to watch a video after, which is cool. You guys are going to be doing some research on the internet. You've heard of the internet. It's pretty awesome these days. You can do some cool stuff. And you guys are going to do that. We're going to check it out. So let me start you off with a warm-up question. I'm doing good, Mario. I'm, I'm feeling all right. I'm, do, I'm actually kind of sleepy. So it was one of those days where you just you need to take care of yourself. So I went, can I show you something? Let me show you a Canadian. It's not really a Canadian place, but it's a wonderful place that, that I went to. And let me show you here. It's actually called this. It's called Fat Burger. Um, so I hope no one's vegan or vegetarian, because this is where I went today. I didn't get this monster thing, but I did get something that kind of looked like that. And it's called Fat Burger, and it's ridiculously good. OK, so that's I made myself feel happy today, and that's how I did it. It's uh, 1.35 AM here. Thanks for hanging out, Madi. I appreciate it. I know you're sleeping. So let's get to it for Madi's sake so he can go to sleep. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about lies. Yeah, lies, you know. So let's take a look at some lie pictures, shall we? Fake news. <laughs> I got to add a question about that because that's so Trump right now, right? Oh. Is, is fake news really a thing? Because that's a big thing for him, right? Fake news, that's his whole thing. All the media, Donald Trump says, is lying. So what else we got here? Uh, truth, yeah, we got whispering in people's ears, whatever. Lies, oh my goodness, what if your whole life was based on lies? Oh dear Lord, I certainly hope not. Uh, beware, lies, lies, and more lies at the next exit. Okay, so this is the topic we're going to be talking about today. Great, Marty. Appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to be talking about lies. So let's get into it. And I'll start off with a personal question for you. And that question, of course, is how often do you lie? So please weigh in on that. How often do you lie? And what kind of lies do you tell? Do you tell them all the time? Or do you do like some fun lying? You know, sometimes you can have lies and they're kind of fun. So tell me, what do you, what do you think about that? How often do you lie? Do you lie to yourself? Oh my goodness. I lie to myself all the time. I'm like, oh yeah, I try to eat healthy all the time. Don't really do that. I need to stop lying to myself. You got to tell the truth to yourself. So go ahead. Let's share. Let's talk about the truth here. How much do you actually lie? How often do you lie? Lolly, I feel like, she, why do I feel like Lolly's going to be the first one to answer this question? Uh, how much do you lie? You don't tell the truth, right? So let's talk. Let's talk about. It. Let's get it out there. Let's clear the air. That's a, that's one we can talk about. Let me put that in there. That's a good good word, Kent. Good job. Clear the air basically means let's let's share everything. Let's don't hide any. Don't keep any secrets. Let's clear the air. Let's talk about everything that should be talked about, right? If you're having a problem, you need to clear the air. Make sense? Clear the air. So clear the air is an idiom, which means mm, talk about thing. Don't keep don't keep secrets. 
Oh, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Clear the air. We have to clear me and you. Also, it was good to clear the air. Feel good about that. Um, understandings. Clear. <laughs> clear up. Uh, get rid of misunderstandings. So if something is not clear, you need to clear the air. Makes sense? So get rid of misunderstandings, you clear the air. All right, so let's go. Let's go in. Let's talk about lies. How much do you lie? Let's see what you got. Uh, do, 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 do. Lolly never. So you were the first one to answer, Lolly, and I was kind of right about that. But you didn't answer what I expected you to answer. So I want the truth, Lolly. I want you to clear the air. Tell us the truth. Learn English, not as often as, as when I was young. Yeah, I think that's fair for most people. Most people lie less as they get older. I think they just lie to themselves more. Uh, Maria, we love to lie, no S, because the truth is painful. That's true. Fun lies, ha 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 ha. Good job, Faiza, fun lies. As long as they're fun. Ahmed, when I get into, get in trouble or get into trouble, or when needing it, when required. Sometimes you have to lie. And we're going to talk about what are those situations. We're going to talk about that soon. Honestly, Ziad, a lot. I knew that, buddy. I knew you lied a lot. That's OK. Uh, when it's necessary, I only tell tell white lies. Good. And we're going to talk about what is that? OK, let's put that in there, because that's one of the questions as well. What is a white lie? A white lie is a small lie. Little lies, yeah? A white lie. So uh, let's put the whole thing. Usually you tell a white lie. So you just, yeah, it's not a big lie. You're probably not going to hurt anybody's feelings too much. Yeah, just lie a little bit. A small lie. Boom, there it is. Link, please. Sorry, here we go. Uh huh. Do, 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 do. Let's do that. Link. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. Here we go. Boom, there it is. If you are new and you've never done this before, please open up that link and you'll have access to everything we're talking about. All right, so light lies. To learn something to, uh, okay, not learn someone. I love that mistake, Moby, and that's great, but we say teach someone, not learn someone. You learn something or you teach something. They're two different ones. Let me learn you something. Generally, okay, very nice. Actually, I try, if I can, not to tell the truth. Huh? Don't lie and just evade. Evade. Oh, good. That's a good word. Because we do, we do, we don't always lie, but we. What's that word? What's that word? So somebody's trying to talk to you, and they're trying to get some truth from you, and you kind of like, you could evade, evade the topic, but we don't really use that word evade. That sounds like military. Ignore, sidestep. Boom. Thank you very much. You sidestep something. So basically, you're kind of here, and somebody says like, "Hey, Ken, why do you do that?" And you're like, "Oh." And you kind of like move over there and you just get out of the way of that. Uh, you, so you could sidestep a conversation. Uh, evade. You have to use that word. Evade a conversation. Evade something. Good one. And there's another word I'm looking for. It's not evade. It's sidestep. You sidestep a conversation. What else would you do? You, you 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 duck around, you ignore, it's not ignore, ah, oh, I'll think about it, I'll try to think about it. All right, what else we got here? Do, 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 honesty is the best policy. Ooh, good one, that's a nice idiom. Thank you, Dale. Honesty is the best policy. What does that mean? Honesty is good, you should always be honest. Honesty is the best policy. That's a nice combination of words. <coughs> it's a collocation, and we use it. So whenever you need to tell someone like, hey man, don't lie, Honesty is the best policy. You can say that. Being honest is best. Being honest is good. Nice one. Uh, cover the truth. Hide the truth. I think we would usually say hide the truth. You don't. You know. You don't tell. You don't tell the truth. You hide the truth. So it's another combination. And so if you tell, if you hide the truth, you also you tell the truth. All right, so there we go. OK, and those are pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, OK, cool. No, 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 lying at college. Elude. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you, English learning. That I think that's the one I wanted. You elude the question. Sidestep or elude. Boom. 
Thank you very much. English learning, good English learning. Good English teaching. Elude the convert. Elude the, usually you elude a question. So you could elude something, you could elude somebody, you could side, sidestep something or somebody as well. Uh, so they're both verbs and they basically mean mm, don't directly contact, evade. It's another way to say it. You'll have to Google that, but anyways, that's what it is. Cool. All right, let's jump in. I'm going to move ahead and let's go. You duck the question, you dodge. Ooh, good one. Yeah, nice one. Uh, you, could, you could definitely dodge the question. That's a good one. That's kind of one of the words I was looking for. Elude or dodge. So this is dodge. <laughs> dodge. <laughs> so you dodge a punch. And you can also dodge a question. Very nice. Thank you very much. You guys are kicking butt today. Very nice. You're helping me out on a sluggish day when I'm feeling like not very fast. Fibs. Oh, very nice one, Gertie. Oh, look at this language. This was a good topic. I, apparently, we have a bunch of liars in the chat. Yes, liars unite. So fib is another way to say a little lie. You tell a fib. You, or you could use it as a verb. You can say, I fibbed. But we don't really do that. So maybe we'll use it like this. Tell a fib. Nah, a fib. It's a fib. Uh, it's not a big deal. A fib is a little lie as well. Nice words. Boom. All right, dodging, yep, cool. Hey, Albina, what's up? All right, let's get into this. So I'm going to teach you a few new ones today. And here's number one. Let's roll up to number one. So a few questions with some vocab for you. Here we go. So here's number one. Have you ever lied through your teeth and why? What was the reason? So here's a new one for you. Let's see if we can find a picture, shall we? Lie through your teeth. And let's see what comes up. Uh, probably not going to get the answers. That I, oh, here we go. There it is. I'm right there. Liar. Oh. Lying through your teeth does not count as flossing. Just remember, your dentist still wants you to floss. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Okay. So that, that's a dentist joke. All right. Oh, there it is again. Lying through your teeth does not count as flossing. Um, if you're a dentist, there's a joke you can tell in English. Good, good that. Uh, lie while smiling. Yeah, good question. So, so the, def the definition of lie through your teeth is basically tell a big lie and you don't really care about lying. You don't have a problem with it. So let's see. Let me show you what I mean. Lie through your teeth definition. And I believe that's what it says. So here it goes. Lie through one's teeth. Tell a total lie, outright lie, no remorse. You don't feel bad. You feel it's okay. You just lie <laughs> through your teeth. So that's the question here. Have you ever lied through your teeth? You just told a lie. You didn't feel bad about it. And what was the lie? So have you ever lied through your teeth? Please tell us uh, the answer to that one. Put that right there. All right. So there it is. What do we got? Who's got a lie? Uh, okay, so no, lying through your teeth is stronger. And it's, so remember, I lie, but I don't care. I just like, I told the lie and I, I don't feel bad because I lied. I just lied and that was it. Uh, so Judah says, if you say that someone is lying through their teeth, you are empathi em empathizing that they are telling lies. Yes. Lie through one's teeth. If you say someone is lying, you are empathizing. Yes, yes, yes. Same one. You are late, Fedor. Get in here. Put that fish down and get in here. Okay. Um, How long has the stream been on? Uh, a little while, buddy. A little while. Over 15 minutes. Okay. So no one, no one's lied. No one's ever lied through their teeth and felt no remorse. You were okay with it. Okay. So, anyways, that's the expression. So, if you ever catch somebody lying a lot, you can say, "Man," and maybe they don't care. You would say that that person is lying through their teeth. Lie through one's teeth. So it's an idiom. I don't know why through the teeth, but whatever. Maybe because, yeah, it makes sense, right? Because of the smile. They're smiling and they're lying. So it's like, man, they really don't care that they're lying. That makes sense. Uh, tell a big lie without feeling bad, without feeling guilty. Boom. Never lie, since sooner or later the truth might reveal itself. Yes, you're right. That's also good advice. Uh, last year, because of some problems, I, I couldn't study for my exam, so I lied with a D, lied through my teeth to my teacher. Is the grammar correct? Not true. 
Uh, correct. So last year I, I couldn't study for my exam, so I lied with a D through my teeth to my teacher. And then it's good. Okay, there we go. Uh, boom, boom. I'm good. Good morning. Dale, I'm good. Morning. Pineapple. Smart English. Back at you, Alvina. All right, let's move on. Let's go to the next one here. Next one is followed by number one is number two. Here we go. Is it some? This is a good question. This is a great question, right? Is it sometimes okay to tell a little white lie? Yeah, a small lie. So is it okay? And give us some examples. When is it okay? So sometimes you might tell a little lie, right? Just a little one. And maybe it's okay. Why is it okay? When is it okay? Please share. Because, I mean, I don't know, maybe some people can't handle, you can't handle the truth. That's a famous movie quote. So tell us, when is it okay to lie? A little lie, not a big lie, but like you are, maybe you're protecting someone. Hmm, what do you think? No worries, Muddy. Uh, so telling a little lie. Okay, so let me give it, who, what have we got here? I think I got a little example. So imagine, imagine you got a, a little niece or a nephew, like me, I got a little niece. And maybe it's about Santa Claus. And your niece comes up to you and she says, Uncle, Uncle Kent, is Santa Claus real? Some of the kids said, he's not real. Oh, I don't know. I guess it, that's a judgment call. You'd have to decide that, right? What would you say in that situation? And maybe the kid's like, I don't know, four years old, three years old? Do you crush that child and say, yeah, kid, that kid was, that other kid was right. Santa Claus ain't real. Or would you let it kind of continue because you know that kid's going to enjoy Santa for many years before they finally figure out, you know what I mean? Give me some situations when it's cool or maybe acceptable to lie. Maybe not cool, but acceptable. Brahim's got one, so it's okay if you're going to fix a problem. And again, give me that example, Brahim. What, what kind of uh, problem are we talking about? It's very okay, <laughs> Fader. So like, oh yeah, I tell white lies all the time. Dale, when the truth is about to harm somebody, okay, so again, when we protect somebody. T, I'm gonna call you T. Uh, in creative writing, you definitely need to lie. Mm, okay, yeah, I guess so. Learn English when you forgot your homework, it's completely okay. That's a lie, learning English, I'm a teacher. I'm not gonna accept that answer. Uh, but it happens, it happens all the time. Judith, yes, because if someone is very sick, we can't say, we can't tell the people that they will die in three months. Yes, I agree. You can't lie there. Lolly, when somebody is ill, you can tell a white lie, kind of. You look great. <laughs> way to go, Lolly. Way to, way to cheer up the sick people. Just like, or maybe they come to school and they're like, you know, they're maybe they're not feeling, they've been really sad the last week and they come to school and their hair is all messy and like, oh, you look good, yeah, like, you know, just to pump pump somebody up, like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. you pump them up, make them feel okay. Uh, there we go, yeah, that's not too bad. You're trying, to, you're trying to make them feel better with a little lie, even if maybe they know, maybe they don't know, maybe that's okay. When I want to settle a problem, I don't know, Faiza, I don't know about that one. Yes, especially with kids whether to get them to do something or just to scare them for being naughty. So like there's monsters under your bed, so if you stay awake, they'll eat you. If you go to sleep, they just disappear. Mm, go to bed on time, little kid. Yeah, good question. As long as you don't damage that child's brain for eternity, right? They're just like, I'm still, I'm, 20, I'm 27 years old, I'm still afraid of the dark because of my dad. Uh, that could be tough. During a job interview, Zinev, you lie at job interviews? Oh my goodness. And there's another word we can use, and I'm going to introduce you to that word, and that word is exaggerate. So let me give you a new word right now instead of later. Exaggerate. So I think maybe this is what uh, Faiza's going for. Or who's a Faiza? No, who said? Oh, sorry, Zineb, during a job interview. Exaggerate. Here's a new word for you. Exaggerate means to extend the truth. So for example, you know, you're like, they say, oh, Kent, have you ever done this kind of computer work? And I say, well, you know, I, I've done a lot of w computer work which involved this kind of, this uh, similar kind of program, and I, I'm very comfortable with it. That's not true. I've never done what they want me to do, but I kind of like stretch, stretch the truth. Is that, a, is that a combination? Stretch the truth. I was stretching the truth. Yeah, you could do that. You could also exaggerate, stretch the truth. 
You can, boom, see? Natural English coming out. So it's an idiom, which also means exaggerate. Uh, and exaggerate, I don't know how to spell it, apparently, exaggerate. And exaggerate means to Go, go. Tell me the meaning of exaggerate and tell me the spelling. Oh, it's double G, one R. Here we go. Exaggerate, a statement that represents something as better or worse than it really is. So, okay, so you say extra. Like it's, if you say something's good, you say it's amazing. And if you say something's bad, you say it's horrible. You are exaggerating. So I'm just going to copy that. And there it is. And exaggerate, two Gs, one R. Try to remember that. Good word. All right. Uh, <laughs> we are best friends. Fader, we're not best friends? No! I was going to go fishing with you, man. Uh, OK. All right, let's scroll down. Where did I go? Uh, oh, guys, Muad as well. Guys, this is, uh, we're pretty, I thought we were, I thought we were best friends. Are you exaggerating? Magnify, thank you. Magnify beyond the limits. That's a good way. Overstate, ooh, that's a good word. Yeah, you say something. Yeah, let's add that word as well, because that's similar, right? Overstate, you kind of say a little extra. And if you can overstate, you can also understate. So you say a little extra, overstate. You say a little less, you understate. So basically, if you think, for example, if I say, ah, global warming's not, not a big deal, some people would say, wow, you are really understating this problem. It's a huge deal, something like that. You cannot overstate that problem. You know what I mean? Like, it's a big, it's a big problem. I guess you could misstate. Yeah, you misstate. Maybe sometimes, yeah. All right, understate, overstate. Uh, magnify. OK, there you go. Ooh, Mario's got to go. When partaking in someone's cooking. Yes, you're totally right, Mario. When you're cooking, when you're eating someone's food, and you're like, "Wow, this isn't very good." Ah, it's really, it's quite good. You tell a little white lie. That seems like a perfectly. You don't want to insult the host, right? Or insult the chef. All right, very nice. Let's jump into the next one. And not to be, I, I, sh I shouldn't say this is only about lying. I actually wanted this to talk about uh, the truth as well. So here we go. I'm also going to hit you with whoosh, uh, a question about the truth, and I want you to look, learn this one. Because this is about the truth, not only lies. So here's the next one, number three. As far as you know. So when do we use as far as you know? So I just created a regular old question here. So as far as you know, how many people live in your country? So it basically means according to, you know, how much information do you have? You say, so for me, I think it's, as far as I know, there's about approximately 35, maybe 36 million people who live in Canada. So I don't know, where is it, it's over there, I don't know the exact amount. So I'm giving you kind of an uh, about or a, approximately. So I say, as far as I know, he's on vacation right now. As far as I know, there are this many people in Canada. As far as I know is like according to my knowledge. Would we say that? According to my knowledge. Yeah, we do say that. You could also say according to my knowledge, as far as I know. It sounds a little bit weird though if you say according to my knowledge. As far as I know, say as far as I know. Just use that one, it's better. All right, so what do we got? What do you guys got here? Kent, do you lie to, <laughs> Fedor, never. Never, buddy. I never lie to you guys at all. All right, very nice. Uh, Madi, as the studies reveals, there are 80 million, there are 80 million, no S, uh, 80 million people in my country, Iran. All right, very nice. 80 million, that's a lot. Got more than we do. Uh, Maria, how many people live in Algeria? Great question. All politicians lie brazenly. Oh my goodness, brazenly. There's another word we can use. Um, brazen lies. Uh, let's put that one in. Lie brazenly. And I believe brazenly is kind of like a burger. It's not like a burger. In a bold and shameless way. There you go. Uh, nice. That was right. Uh, so that's a collocation. Uh, lie in a bold manner, in a bold way, like strongly. Just lie and be strong about it. Lie, <laughs> lie brazenly. Is that what all the politicians do, Lolly? Must be. 
Uh, all right, very nice. As far as I'm concerned, we are 17, 17, we have, not are, uh, we have 17 million people in our country. As far as I know, there are about 37 million. There we go. So perfect example. As far as I know, don't forget your commas. According to the last data about our country, its population, it is over 82 million, but my guess is about 100 million. There we go. Um, yeah. Well, that's a good one. As far as you know, my guess is about. That's a nice one as well. Good combo. Very nice. You guys are, you guys are doing my job for me today, and I like it. My guess is about. That's a good combination. No, 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 no. Yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. My guess is about 36 million people. You just say my guess or his guess or whatever. Usually it's yours. All right, cool. Very nice. We got that one out of the way. Next one. What are some other types of lies? And okay, sorry, th these aren't exactly lies. These, these might be more about telling the truth. Some of it's about truth and some of it's about lies. So let me hit you with both. Whoosh, whoosh. Do you know anyone who likes to gossip? What is gossip? Gossip is like, you know, tell stories about what's happening maybe at your workplace. Some of my coworkers and, and I'll include myself, we kind of gossip sometimes about what's, you know, what's going on. Uh, and the other thing, so gossip, gossip could be true and it could be a lie, we don't know, right? It's gossip, it's, it's like rumors. And spread rumors is like to like, it could be like, again, it could be true, could be false, and you kind of share that information. So for example, if I say something like, oh, you know, my director at my school, you know, I, I saw her, you know, I don't know, I saw her playing on her iPad when she was supposed to be working, oh my God, and I tell other people in the school, I have spread the rumor. So do you know anyone like that who likes to gossip? A little chit chat, a little back and forth, or maybe, maybe spread a vicious rumor about somebody. Gossip backbiting, good question, Brahim. I'm not familiar with that word, backbiting, so let me check it out. Backbiting. Malicious talk about someone who is not present. Okay. Backbiting, okay, interesting. Yeah, I never really used that one. Uh, but there are some other words here, ooh, slander, there's a good one. The action or crime of making a false spoken statement, oh my goodness, let's add that one, that's a good word, slander. So basically when you, let's, where is it, slander is when you, the action or crime, it's actually a crime, saying something, saying a lie in a spoken statement which damages some person's reputation. Ooh, slander, don't slander. All right, that's a good one. Slander. So usually a politician might slander some. Like if somebody speaks openly on TV, that's a good, uh, good opportunity for slander. Slander somebody. Nice word. Back backbiting. The backbiting one, I, I don't personally use it very often. I haven't heard it too much, but you could definitely use that one as well. All right. Get in there, slander. Why aren't you working? I need my slander on my document. There it is. All right. Okay. Oh, I've lost it back. I'm not being fast enough here. What else we got? Go <laughs> oh, Lolly, I love gossip. Practice it all the time. Good for you. It gets practice makes perfect, Lolly. Gossip, no S, is often about smearing. Smear. Smear is to make a mess. Like if I if I take chocolate and I put it or peanut butter and I put it on this camera and I smear it on the camera, you can also smear someone's reputation. So you say some bad things about them and then you smear. So let's say smear uh, reputation. Smear one's reputation. And basically, you say something bad. Say something bad about someone. And similar to damage their reputation. But I think it's not, uh, smearing one's reputation is not illegal. Slander is like illegal. It's like a crime. Good words today. I like it. Uh, all right. What else we got here? Yeah, my uncle always gossips, gossips about his travel abroad while he doesn't have a passport. Okay. Uh, my friend from Holland, he likes, 
likes to tell this kind uh, he likes to gossip basically use it as a verb he likes to gossip in my city where I live all people are all people live for gossip oh interesting Judith in the workplace office gossip is an everyday task oh in the workplace gossip is an everyday task among people okay yeah I think so lots of places do it it would be all right oh we're still Modesto's on the old one it would be all right to to lie a little bit to teenagers when they go partying and come home very late so they slowly enter the house and try to go to bed suddenly their parents catch them yes I agree all right boom 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 Gozia what is flash packing is that a new word I don't know what that means can you please explain that one well our women no s just women is already plural always gossip about something is that true is that a stereotype or is that true Damage, destroy a reputation, spread rumors, yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mario, what are these words? Muck rake? Oh, that's an old one. Goes, yeah, it's hard to live in a small town because everyone is gossiping. Yes, I agree. I'm also from a small town, so I kind of understand. I will not stand here when you lie in my face. Okay. Thank you, Lolly. All right, cool. Next one. Let's move on. Uh, and here's that word that I don't know how to spell, but I do now. It's double G, one R, number five. A white lie is like, is not, it's kind of, a white lie is a little and a blatant lie is big. Let me add that word. That's a good word. A blatant lie. Easy to see. A blatant, let's make that bigger. Blatant lie is easy to see. Like it's it's clear. It's a lie. Everybody knows. So a blatant lie is a, a clear, an easy to see lie. There we go. All right. Next one. Next one is the exaggerate question, which is a good one, because this used to be. I think this used to be my dad. My dad would tell a little exaggerate. So what does that mean, exaggerate? We talked about it before. We introduced that word. So does anyone in your family like to exaggerate when telling stories? So here it is, number five. So for example, my dad would tell fishing stories and he'd say, maybe Fedor's got a story or two. And he would go fishing, right? And he would say, you know, so he'd come back and he'd say, you know, I caught a fish when I was younger and it was this big, you know, it was this big. And then the next time he tells the story, the fish was this big and it just gets bigger and bigger and it, the fish gets bigger and bigger every time especially men you might be right about that Gozia you might be right so do you know anyone maybe a man in your family who lies who exaggerates when telling stories so it's kind of like a lie but we don't say lie I mean the person is not maybe the person is not trying to lie but they just expand they stretch the truth a little bit Sir Ken yes all of my cousins Fedor's laughing that's the laughter of agreement I'm sure all my cousins lie okay there you go or sorry exaggerate we're not lying here we're exaggerating yeah uh, like you know your hometown is so cold that your feet will actually freeze right off that sounds like a lie not an exaggeration uh, that's me I like to exaggerate it makes conversation <laughs> exciting there we go so when is it okay to exaggerate well the answer is when it makes conversation exciting you can exaggerate very nice all right, anyone else? Dale, my 90-year-old grandpa, he still goes on, goes on dates. Uh, so what does that mean? Does that mean he exaggerates or what, what is that? Learn English, my older brother uh, likes, likes to behave like he's clever. And when he's telling stories, he exaggerates so much up until it seems like drama. Okay. Ooh, embellish is another way to say exaggerate. Very nice. Let's add that one to the list. Uh, embellish the truth is the same as exaggerate, embellish. So lots of ways to say the same thing today. Embellish the truth. Exaggerate. Okay, who else we got here? Mandy, my brother always exaggerates when he relates the stories of his dust-ups. Dust-ups means fights. Uh, my grandpa always expands, not expands, stretches. Stretches the truth while talking about his childhood. Sure, grandparents like to do that. 
uh, English learning. Once I lied to my family about a meteor going to hit the Earth tomorrow. And they believe that? Vinny, my brother likes to exaggerate so that we all pay attention to him. Sure, kids are like that. My cousin exaggerates when, when she or he, I don't know who, sees a handsome man. Okay, there you go, like he was so handsome, so good looking. Uh, my mother does that a lot. And yes, Fedor every, <laughs> Fedor every day tells me stories about how he lost the big fish, the biggest fish in the world. It bit his <laughs> Oh, Fedor. Yeah, that's, that's why he was laughing earlier. He was just like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm busted. I'm busted on this question for sure. That's awesome. Uh, good to know. Good to know that Fedor is a big exaggerator, a big stretcher of the truth. Gertie, my brother exaggerates the stories about his girlfriends when he was at university. Yeah, guys like to do that. Gozia, when they have a man, you're right. You're totally right, Gozia. You, you're, you're on point today. When a man is sick, He's so much sicker than other than other than females, right? The man is like, oh guys, you know, when I'm sick, I'm so sick. Like I should basically be in the hospital, but I'm being tough today, so I'm not <laughs> going to the hospital. You're totally right. When when men are sick, they're just huge babies and definitely exaggerate about how sick they are. Ken, why why are you encouraging us to lie? I don't know, because it's fun and it makes people feel better sometimes. That was the answer, right? Who said that? Who somebody said that it makes you feel better to tell a little lie sometimes, so that's why we're doing it. Just for for giggles. For shit and giggles. Uh, alright, good. Next one. I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get you to do some research right away. Uh, we got twenty minutes left, so let's do one more. And I, I might burn through a few of these just to speed the thing up. Uh, so let's let's do one more here. So I'll, I'm just going to do number six. I'm, I'm just going to talk about number six. Number six says, have you ever forged a signature? Now, I'm not going to put this in the chat. I just want you to know the word is forge. When you, when you like sign, when you sign, so if, I, if my dad, if I take my dad's signature and I sign like, like my dad, that's called forging. You forge a signature. That's one question. Uh, my next question was cheating, which is kind, it's not really a lie necessarily, but is cheating on your partner a common thing? So let's do this one because it's a, it's a juicy, gossipy topic. Uh, okay, so is cheating on your partner. So forgery is actually against the law, Fedor. I feel I should tell you this right now that you could go to jail. I'm considering calling the police. Uh, but anyways, moving on. Cheating on your partner. Is it common in your country? What do you guys think? Uh, okay, so some people got have religion to definitely put an end to that. Um, so go ahead. Uh, what do you think about that one? Uh, Kent, maybe every grandpa story was written in a Hemingway style, The Old Man and the Sea. Okay, I've never read that one, but I'm guessing there's a, a fair bit of exaggeration in it. Hello, gameplay, what's up? Um, nope, religion, nope, never. Now, it's not about you. It's not cheating on your partner. It's The question is, is cheating on your partner common in your country? Does this happen a lot or not so much? I'm going to say that in Canada... It doesn't happen too often, right? It's um, and you you know you think about young people in this situation or older people, but I think in Canada the guys and the girls are most of the time they're pretty good. There's not too much cheating goes on. No, everybody's agreed. We should not let cheating be common. I agree, it's not a good thing. It is common in human beings. Yeah, some people do it. Some people don't. Some people do. No, it is not, and I'm from Brazil. Okay, Brazil's taking a stand here, and the answer is no. Depends on the age. It does depend on the age. Young people tend to do it more, right? Okay, shouldn't be common, but happens often. No, all men are faithful in my country. Laugh out loud, roll on the floor. Uh, we can say bogus. Um, bogus is like, yeah, bogus is kind of like fake. So I guess it is a lie. Hmm. And I never even thought about that. Um, sometimes we talk about products, which are not real products. And we just call them fakes. Uh, so for example, if you get fake Gucci sunglasses, maybe they're called Fuchi or 
Nike could be Fikey, right? Sounds like a Brazilian ripoff. So, uh, oh, that's a good word. So here's a new word for you, knockoff. If you have a knockoff, it basically means a fake product. So if it's not Nike and it's Fikey, that's a knockoff. It's not a true product. It's not a real Nike product. So we call them knockoffs. Uh, an imitation, an imitation product, imitation of a product, imitation of a real product. Fake socks, fake shoes, fake ties, all that. Fake news, huge. Okay, there we go, yes. All right, so still on that. A phony, yeah, good. Let's do that, that's a good word. A phony, a phony could be different things. A uh, phony could be a person, and a phony could also be a thing. Like, for example, if you say, oh man, that guy, he's always fake, he's always lying, he's a phony. He's, he's lying about who he is. So a fake thing or person. Usually we use it for people, but it can also be used. Good word, very nice. It could be used for uh, people or things. You say, oh, you know, I bought this iPhone, but it's, it wasn't an iPhone, it was a phony. And not a, that's not a joke, that's just a, what we call it. We say it's fake. It's, and you can say a phony or a fake. Or a knockoff. Yeah, okay. Uh, so knockoff is definitely for products, and a fake is definitely for things. So I'll just say an imitation, a fake. And yeah, I guess, no, that's an imitation of a thing or a person. It can also be people, a fake. He was a fake. But that means he's a liar, like he was lying about his identity. An imitation or a person lying about something. There we go. It's a pun. Yeah, it was kind of a pun. It's a phony. Maybe that's the name. It's not iPhone. It's called phony, right? And then you have to pay. There you go. It's cheap. All right, very nice. Uh, let's go. And I think I'm going to stop it there. I'm just going to talk about the last few uh, words that are on my list. So number eight, if you take a look at it, uh, the word is uh, scam. What is a scam? So if you go, sometimes when you go, I'll just put this here. What is a scam? A scam is... Uh, and it should be a scam. A scam is, uh, so for example, let's say you go to another country and they tell you, oh, you know, um, oh man, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna have, I'm having trouble. Guys, can you help me out with a scam? Give us an example of a scam, a con, thank you. There's another word. What, give us an example of a scam or a con, because those are good words. It's, it's like a lie. I'm trying to think of an example, scam. A con or a con man. We also have a con man is a, or a con artist. A con man or a con artist. Basically people who do fake things, like they steal your money, usually. So a scam, fraud. All right, let's, I need, an, I need a definition of a scam. Scam definition. A dishonest scheme, a fraud. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, I think I got a picture for you that we can do. You know the peanut game? The game where you gotta find the peanut or whatever. The cup, I don't know how to explain this. Cup and peanut game. No, those are, ooh, those are delicious. Ooh, those are nice. Those are good looking cookies. Ooh, Reese's, love Reese's. Uh, find the ball. Under the cup game, that's the one I want. Some people do this game, right? But it's it's not you can't win you because the ball disappears, right? That would be an example of a scam. And then you would just put put them upside down and play beer pong in them. But that's an example of a scam. I can't think of any others. I know there's some good ones out there, uh, but those are scams. Tricking you, yes. Okay, that's another word. Trick. Trick someone is another thing we use for lies as well, right? Like make a joke. You trick somebody. You say, oh, you know, oh my God, today I got into this huge car accident and my car is so totaled and I hit two other cars and the other person's like, oh my God, really? And you say, no, tricked you. I fooled you. So trick or fool or deceive. Similar words. I don't know how to explain those words. 
but it's a uh, tell a lie tell a lie or something for humor because it's funny tell a lie because it's funny well it's not because it's only funny. anyways tell a lie for some purposes Ugh. Google that. You might have to Google that one. Ooh, pull a prank. Yes, that's a good one. Oh man, there's so many words here. Uh, it's make a. It's like make a joke, but we don't say make a joke. We say pull a prank. Let me show you a prank. Oh, that's kind of scary. Uh, here, funniest pranks. Oh, here we go. Look at this. So you put this thing under the chair, and when the person sits down, the loudest noise ever will just go off. That's a prank, P-R-A-N-K. And that person is going to poop their pants because of that, right? So that's a, we also call that a practical joke. So pull a prank or a practical joke. How do I explain that? Fool someone, yeah? Pulling someone's leg, yeah, it's a little bit of an old one there. I don't know if we use that one too much anymore, but a prank, a hoax, and I know a hoax and a prank are different, right? So a prank is like a joke, and a hoax is like, it's not really a joke. I guess it could be for some people, but the hoax, they want you. So let me show you something. Some people say that this is a hoax. Like this. This is this is supposed to be an alien. Is it real or is it totally fake? I think it's probably totally fake. So people would call this a hoax. So they're trying to trick people. Okay, very nice. All right, so I'm gonna roll ahead here because I'm running out of time. So we have scams, we have hoax, and we also have sarcasm, which is like telling jokes, but you're not serious. So if your friend comes to school and they got their hair and they're looking crazy, you say, "Oh my God, you look amazing today." It's a joke, right? But it's a lie. So it's uh, being, yeah, telling jokes. It's also a joke. Irony, sarcasm, similar. Okay, so here we go. What I'd like you guys to do is I want you to do this. I want you to go to YouTube and search how to tell if someone is lying. So please go on YouTube, and I want you to do that. I want you to come back and tell us, what did you find? How do we know if somebody's lying or if somebody's telling a joke? So you go there, search it, how to know if someone's lying. A few videos will pop up. You choose whichever video you want. Maybe one of these ones. This one looks pretty good here, the, uh, the one, the 10 simple ways to tell if somebody is lying. Uh, so try different videos. Everybody maybe choose a different video if you can. Try different spots on the list and see. And there's even a TED Talk about it, which I love TED Talks. Uh, how to tell if somebody is lying. So go ahead, choose one of those videos, and come back and tell us what you found about how to know if somebody's lying. And let's, we'll talk about it. There we go. Some people are already telling how they lie. If you scratch your head, you know it's a lie maybe look away so go ahead watch a video and once you got or you don't you don't have to watch a video you can simply search how to know you can also do that you can just search here how to know if someone is lying you can also search the internet if you don't want to watch a video and a few things will come up here and you can also give us some ideas there okay so go ahead jump into internet land YouTube or Google or whatever you use and find us some information. How do we know if someone's lying? Give us some tips, throw them into the chat, uh, and let's put them in here. Lies. Oh man, we got so much vocabulary today. Okay. Practical. All right, not looking into the eyes. Okay, so avoiding eye contact. So let's put that here. How to know if someone is lying. Uh, they avoid. So they avoid eye contact. Avoid making eye contact. That's one thing for sure. But I've also heard that lying is not international. I've I've seen some documentaries where they said some people lie differently in different cultures. So it's difficult to know. 
if some people are, feel regret and stuff like this. Anyways, there was a, something on the news where one kid went to jail and they, the judge kind of made the decision because the boy didn't look guilty, so they actually gave him the death penalty. But in some cultures, apparently, they don't. That, that is the look of looking guilty. So that's an interesting one. All right, what else we got? Not looking in the eyes when someone retracts. Ooh, when they retract. Good word. So they take back. They say something, and then they take it back. So they might retract statements. Mm -hmm. What else? When they blink their eyes rapidly. So when they, apparently this is an indicator of a lie. Politicians never lie. No, they don't. Uh, Wafa, the closing closing one's eyes or closing their eyes for more than one second at a time. Is that true? So if they do like a little bit more, okay, could be. All right, let's just do the. I'm not going to write any of these down. You guys can take notes if you want. I'm just going to read. They tend to use the word me a lot. Me. Well, I didn't do it, and uh, so I didn't go there, and I wasn't. Okay, maybe. Yeah, that could, that could make sense. Throat clearing <coughs> or swallowing. That, that is weird. That's some kind of weird reaction that happens, right? Eye movement when right-handed people are lying. Left-handed people look up to the left and they look up to the right. Mm, I don't know. Looking to the right side for right-handed people and to the left for lefties. When they blush, when they get a little bit red in the face. False smile, repeat the same sentence. Hostility, when they get angry. That's how you know. Maybe they're protecting themselves, so they get angry just to make the lie seem more convincing. Fidgeting, moving around, watching body language, face touching. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Trying to lie. Touching their nose. No, I didn't do it. I didn't eat your ice cream. No, of course not. I guess that's possible. They tend to swear a lot. Sweating, excessive sweating. When somebody immediately switches gears, like changes emotions or changes something, uh, repeating questions before answering them. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good because that gives them time to think about their lie. Like, did you drink my last beer? Did I drink your <laughs> last beer? Hmm, that's a good question. I'll have to think about that one, but I'm pretty sure that the answer is no. Awesome, yeah, that totally makes sense. <laughs> Hiding body parts. Ooh. Blushing when the voice tone changes. Moving around uncontrollably. So if anybody's moving like this, you know that it's a lie. Looking to the right side. Or the right, yeah, okay. Hiding their mouth and their throat because it's like an animal's trying to attack them, so they have to protect themselves. Pitch, the sound of their voice. High voice, low voice. Trying to hide their body, B-O-D-Y, when they are lying. Head shaking. Mm -mm. No, I didn't drink it. They talk quickly and their face becomes red. When he said, vote for me, that was a huge lie. He was actually saying, vote for the other guy, but he didn't want to look stupid while he was up there. Answering question to question. Hmm, let's see. I want to see, I want to see what this looks like. How to know when someone is lying. Because sometimes they have pictures on the internet. How to know if someone is lying. Let's see what the photos look like. Oh, that's pretty much the same photo. Spot liar, subtle signs. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'm getting these ones. Oh, here we go. Apparently, this is a really easy one. So if their nose becomes super long, that means that they're lying to you. Problem solved, guys. Just watch the nose. There we go. They react too quickly, and the nose grows. And you're like, yeah, OK, this person's definitely lying. Their nose just poked me in the eye. There we go. A little bit of eye contact there. Oh, yeah. Trying to make some eye contact. Poker players are good. Oh, let me, let's add that one. You know poker face? A po do you have a poker face? So a poker face, you don't know the emotions. So basically, the person is hiding their emotions. So if you have a poker face, you are hiding your, your face is not showing emotion. You are hiding. You are hiding emotion on your face. You are hiding emotion on your face. A poker face. There we go. 
Pinocchio, yeah, not everyone's Pinocchio. Hiccuping. <laughs> that would be the best. If somebody starts lying, they just start going, <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> that, would be, that would be so great. Mudasar, when someone lies, their hands are still. Well, what a mistake I made. Buddy instead of body. No, yeah, buddy. Uh, when somebody starts stuttering, uh, ooh, ee, uh, or hold it up to your chest. Hold what up to your chest? Grooming their clothes or holding something up to your chest, like a sign that says I didn't, I'm not lying right now. All right, Maria's out of here. Great to have you, Maria. Go to bed. Enjoy your sleep. All right, very nice, guys. I think we've done quite a bit today. We've done uh, a good amount. I'm very impressed. This is a lot of vocab that came up about lies, lies and telling the truth. Most of it was about lies, but there was some about there stretching the truth, exaggerating, telling the truth, um, being blatantly honest. If you can be blatantly, uh, let me add that one. Blatant, be blatantly honest. Totally honest. It's like totally honest blatantly honest totally honest like you tell the truth 100 percent even if it hurts somebody's feelings like you know what you suck right because you did all that so you're being you're telling the truth almost like too much so you're being blatantly honest is a collocation which means telling 100 percent telling the truth telling all of the truth even if it has a negative impact there we go good very nice we got a lot there you go vocabulary is a nice plug for the weekend boom go out and lie your homework guys is to go out and lie to everybody no don't do that maybe tell the truth sometimes as well unless it's for fun then you can tell some little white lies for fun and that's about it uh, that's it for me everybody I hope you enjoyed talking about lies and maybe you can go out and do some practice this weekend practice with your friends and family and do some scams and all those wonderful things have yourselves a great weekend we'll be back on Wednesday <laughs> Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Thursday at 2 p.m. next week have yourselves an amazing weekend don't lie too much keep it in check and we'll see you next week have a great one everybody great weekend love you all bye bye